Street Fighter First Strike and Street Fighter Alpha 3 Online. I'm so excited. Hi guys, back again with another video. Welcome back to Phil's Lifestyle. Hope you guys had a fantastic 2017. Great Christmas. Hope you got everything you wanted and ready for 2018. Today's video is my top games for 2018. So 2017 we had a great year for gaming. We had we had so much. We had Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, the Nintendo Switch itself. We had Tekken 7. We had Mario Odyssey. What else did we have? Mario Rabbids. The list goes on. Let's get ready for 2018. This is not in no order to be honest, but these are the games what my mind set on for 2018. Starting off with God of War. There is loads of reasons to be excited for God of War. It's been a while. It's a brand new story, meaning new combat new skills, a whole new adventure just waiting for Kratos. And funny enough, Kratos is giving us a surprise from the trailers. He's got a son, but this is what I'm not too sure about to be honest. He's accompanied by his son on his adventures. So this could be a bad thing or a good thing for me personally. We can see how it goes. It could be co-op this time. It might be good. So I'm looking forward to God of War. Well, the next one is Nino Kuni 2. This is pretty new for me. I never played the first one before, but it just looks so good. And some of you guys may know I'm a fan of JRPG games. I love my role playing games. So this game definitely caught my eye. So I know it's number two, but I've done a little research. I know it's a brand new storyline, new characters. So you wouldn't have to play the first one to play the second one. So that's good news for me, not playing the first one before. So it's basically, about, I think it's about a boy on a quest to reclaim his throne. It's like an open world RPG also. So I'm really looking forward to it. It looks so clean. The artwork is brilliant. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. I love the style of it. Next one will be, oh God, oh gosh. You know, oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. This, this is, I think this might be the game for me for 2018. But I've been waiting, waiting for Dragon Ball Fighter Z for a while now. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, the vibrant colors in this game look brilliant. It looks so close to the anime. This is what I've been wanting. It's on the right engine for a fighting game. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind the past Dragon Ball games, but I'm not, I don't like the 360 degree fighting games. I like it flat 2D head-to-head -head combat. That's my type of fighting game. So I was so happy when they done this with Dragon Ball Z fighters. God, man, it's gonna be crazy. I got a lot of my friends talking smack, saying they're gonna smash me up on it. I seriously doubt it, guys. I seriously doubt it. And when the game comes out, don't be like, oh, I've got no time to play it. Oh. All those excuses, you know the excuses that you lot use. Just be ready. It's not long left. The beta is on the 13th of January. Be ready. Dragon Ball Fighter Z being on this engine, personally for me, they done it right. They couldn't have done any better. Well, they could have used a Street Fighter engine. That would have been amazing. But it's similar. It's very similar. I'm not complaining. January 26th. Hurry up and get here. I need this game now. Moving on to the next one. You all, you all know about this. Even the people that even play Pokemon know about Pokemon Nintendo Switch. I'm sure you all know about this by now. Pokemon Nintendo Switch. The Pokemon company briefly spoke at E3 letting us know 2018 we could get Pokemon Nintendo Switch. Oh, he said early 2019, but I'm pushing for 2018. This is what we need, 2018 Pokemon Nintendo Switch. But with this Pokemon game, all I want is for them to keep it turn-based battling Please don't change that. I wouldn't mind a little open world just to change it up because it's on a more powerful console now. So yeah, give us a little open world. It'll be brilliant. And, and, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't forget the original 150 one. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need the original Pokemon there. Please, please. <laughs> well, let's move on to the next final one. 
Whew. When they announced this one, I could not believe it. My jaw just dropped. Ridiculous. There's gonna be Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary on every single console, including a Nintendo Switch. Whoa, it's gonna be crazy. It's got my favorite, favorite Street Fighter games on it. I like the classics also, Street Fighter 2, I love them more. But Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Third Strike. That's me. That's all me, guys. I've even... Give me one second. I've even got the previous one from the Xbox. The original Xbox. This was a classic. Here's my game here. Street Fighter Third Strike. I was untouchable in that game. Don't hate. And now, to make it worse, we've got all the classic Street Fighter games online. Street Fighter First Strike and Street Fighter Alpha 3 online. I'm so excited. Can I get an on call? Do you want more? Yes I do. Capcom bring more. They're even giving us all the classic Mega Man and a new one. What's happening? We're getting spoiled with games. It's brilliant. And let's just throw in one more game also. This is like a consideration, I'm considering it. I know you lot are probably be like, shoot me for this one. How can you not want it day one? Like, to be honest, Dragon Ball Z's come at the same time, so it's a bit difficult. And that's Monster Hunter World. Hunting, gathering. I really want to enter this world. I really do. But I don't think I could do it day one. So many things going on. Definitely caught my attention. The graphics alone are brilliant. The new style of hunting, the gathering, the weapons. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks brilliant. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And also, guys, let me know what games you're looking forward to in 2018. Remember to click the thumbs up if you like this video. Leave any comments below. And remember, guys, to subscribe so you don't miss anything what happens with Phil's lifestyle and guys keep on gaming on keep on loving um